Alrighty, it is Friday, May 12th or something like that. I don't even know the date, but I'm in the Driftless area of Wisconsin. Look at this background behind me, man. Where in Wisconsin do you get views like that? But uh, I just showed up. I got here late because I had to work today. And I was on my way to a different spot that I pinned on the map. And I drove over this bridge and actually saw two rises in the span of time I, I took to drive across this bridge at like 15 miles an hour. Um, don't really see many bugs coming off. But uh, I'm going to rig up here. I only got a little bit of time uh, because I got up here so late. I have like an hour and a half to fish. So I still got a... I'm wet waiting today. It's May. We, it was 96 degrees yesterday. It is crazy, crazy warm. So that's not quite ideal, but it'd be nice to wet wait for the first time this year. But uh, I'm going to rig up. I'm not sure what I'm going to throw on yet, but I'm not going to pack along. There's another rise right there. I'm not going to pack the big camera today. I'll pack it tomorrow. But um, I'm just going to throw my GoPro on and then put my big camera in the backpack in case anything kind of crazy happens. But the spot looks pretty sweet. Look at this view. That is as mountainous as it will get in Wisconsin. And this is the stream I'm looking at. Nice, nice little riffle here. Pool up there and another good riffle up there. So saw a couple rises over here. So I'm gonna rig up, see what I can uh, get going. Okay, I'm switching over to this little emerger. I could not see that. That was a huge fish up there. All right, I gotta. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, you guys, I have been running into all kinds of issues. But I'm going to switch to this little caddis fly that I actually tied up. So, I'm going to get away from these trees. That fish just ate right next to my fly. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my gosh. First fish I've ever caught on a fly I tied, and he's actually pretty decent. Oh, heck yes. Look at that guy. Oh, that is a special fish for me. Right in the corner of the mouth. Nice fish. All right, let's get him. All right. Oh, there he goes. Oh, heck yes. I am not gonna lie, that one was a tough one. I kind of got my hiney whooped there by those trout. Um, fun session on the water though. I don't know that I've ever seen that many actively rising fish in Wisconsin before. I mean, I saw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rises. Only thing I've seen, only time I've seen more rises than that is in Colorado, which is pretty incredible. So pretty discouraging that, I mean, I only pulled two fish out of that whole deal, but two big wins for the night. I caught my first ever fish on a fly that I tied myself. That's something I'm very new at, I'm still learning, getting better at. 
So the fish that I caught on the uh, tie that I, or on the fly that I tied, was a little caddis fly that I tied up. So super proud of that, that was awesome. Number two, I'm in the driftless area. I got a full day of fishing tomorrow. Look at this gorgeous sunset behind me. Um, couldn't be more stoked. Sam and Chris, the Bucks were playing tonight, so they stayed back and watched that. So I'm gonna go meet up with them. We got a pretty sweet little Airbnb we're staying at. So I need to go get changed and uh, meet up with the boys, but whew, stick with me. This should be a fun weekend. Hopefully tomorrow will go a little bit better. What's up? Yo, what's going on? Is the next thing you're gonna say not appropriate for camera? No. I was gonna say I need a profile picture for Facebook. I guess there's going up right now. Get it's winter in the background stuff. So. Alright, well, let's get her done. We've got it all to ourselves. We do. How beautiful was that drive, dude? Oh yeah. That's really nice. it's beautiful, Mama. All right. It's gonna be cold, man. Yeah. I'm going waiters for the first bit. <laughs> all right. What a whim. I'm filming. He's just a little guy. First one of the day. Top lip. Boom! Nice job. Well, feels good. Second fish ever on a fly rod? Yep, first brown trout. Alright, so we were staying right there, and there's this little stream that we have yet to try. Holy smokes. Oh, there's just, it's too flat here. But just to see, I mean, look at all the fish. Look at, there's, yeah. I mean, they're tiny. 30 of them. Holy shit, actually, Chris. Nice one. <sighs> yeah, I know I was. Ow, damn. Oh, he's gone. Do you want to know the funniest thing? So I saw that there was this, like, cut here. So I literally did this. Standing here, and I just went. Just let it I just went like this, and he came and shot up right there and. Surface or man? Uh, surface. I only have a dry end though. Oh. oh damn it!
my goodness, my net's all tangled up. Ooh. Dang, no, they're a real pretty one. Hey, Chris. Oh. Sweet. Send him home. Whew. Oh, I always forget how goofy I look with a GoPro. <laughs> Alright, finally just caught a couple decent fish. We are on this tiny little creek right behind our Airbnb. It's, it's, it's a really nice creek. I mean, we're seeing tons of fish. Bunches of them, but they're in spots that are really hard to fish. Most of the creek is like this just really slow slack water but in the little riffles is where I caught that first big one and then that second one that was pretty nice too um, we're just gonna kind of slowly work our way up the stream hopefully run into a few more so it's been pretty lame footage so far so hopefully we'll get a couple catches and <coughs> there's been some decent fish too there's tons of them a bunch of small ones but there's been a couple big ones too all right, just got done editing that video from the Driftless trip, and unfortunately there really was no end or conclusion to that. Um, after we got done fishing that time, I went upstairs to the Airbnb, took a little nap, and unfortunately some bad weather ended up coming through, and uh, the Bucks were in the championship game the next day, so we left early in the morning and didn't really do any more fishing. So um, it was actually a fairly slow trip in the Driftless for uh, what I was expecting. We didn't catch as many fishes. I would have hoped but it was still just an absolutely beautiful time felt great to get back in the stream and the two big goals or two big things from this trip were um, I caught my first fish on a fly tied I was super super stoked on that and then Sammy um, caught a fish with this fly rod he's like brand new to fly fishing so really happy for him on that so thank you guys for watching this video I'm gonna be out fishing some more so make sure you subscribe um, so you can stay up with me and my fly fishing this summer and we'll see you in the next one